Hi guys, my name is Ingrid and I'm the Master Challenge from the Health Education and Promotion Master. And my name is Tom Wolfswijk and I do the ACO Master here at Penn State University. Today we're making a vlog to show you what we and also other students like and dislike about the PBL system as it might be really different from what you're used to. So keep on watching! Next to your PBL sessions you will also have lectures of course and this is a lecture hall but of course when you have a PBL ses session it's not in such a big room. So this is a tutorial room. If you want to know more about the tutorials, check out these videos. I really like that you work together in a group and you discuss all the themes and you discuss all the cases so you don't have to figure out everything yourself. If you're unsure about the answer, you can discuss it with your fellow students and you find the answer. Hey guys, could I ask you something about the PBL system? Yeah, sure. Yeah. What do you like about the PBL system? Um, like we, I really like that we can work in groups on different topics and that um, you don't just have lectures but you can talk in groups about the topics so if you don't understand something other people can explain it and therefore you get more knowledge than if you just only study from books and lectures. Well, it's very time consuming. You have to figure out everything yourself and you need to do a lot of research. So instead of just getting some chapters that you have to learn, you really have to do your own research and that takes quite some time. It's like that you are dependent on other students, that if other students in your group don't do their work and don't do their research properly, you lose a lot of information. And if they did, you get a lot of more information. And I think that's a bit what I, what I like most about the PBL system is that me as a student, I get to develop multiple competencies. For example, I want to become a doctor and in order to be a good doctor you don't only need medical knowledge. You need to be a good communicator, you need to be able to work together with other patients and doctors and by doing the PBL system you get to develop multiple things. Hi guys, may I ask you what you think about the PBL system and would you recommend it to other students? Yes, I would definitely uh, recommend it because you also learn planning and uh, organizing your stuff and um, it really helps because you're with a lot of students and you also present the learning goals to each other so you learn from each other and that's really nice. Yeah and I really like it because you're yeah, and you're not just sitting in a lecture all day it's like you have lectured and your PBL system so after you um, you're also really discussing the material with other students in a group really talking about it and by talking about it and speaking about it you really make sure that you remember everything and everything is clear to you because asking questions in the next row isn't as easy as uh, isn't always as easy so no, I really like it. Thanks! Who are suitable students for the PBL system? I actually think that everybody is suitable for the PBL system. I think that it's a great way to develop yourself and anyone who is looking to do more than just study from books it's very welcome here. Um, <laughs> so cool. what say? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked our little vlog. And if you want to see more of us, then just follow us on Facebook. And you can find our Facebook pages via this link. And leave us a comment, we really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us because that's what we're here for, basically. Yep. Bye. Bye guys.